Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to my new video. Um, this is actually a, an update because I've been quite busy traveling and graduating from university and so I did not have a lot of time to make new videos but I did uh, shoot some videos uh, in other countries and I'll be uploading them. So now I would like to speak about um, my experience in Albania. As you know, when I go to a new country, I like to experience the local culture and I like to um, make a video to share my opinion about um, the country that I visited. So uh, before going to Albania, I said uh, to a few friends uh, in my country that I would be traveling there. In Albania, everyone uh, told me not to go because it's dangerous, because it's famous for its mafia, etc., etc. And while uh, when I was in the Balkans and uh, in Macedonia, so the former uh, uh, Republic of Yugoslavia, um, a taxi man just told me uh, not to go there because there are a lot of thieves and a lot of dangerous people etc and so i asked this taxi driver what about bulgaria so here he said oh it's even worse uh, you have a lot of problems thieves and and so on i've been in bulgaria in more than 15 uh, uh, different cities small cities big cities i've never encountered any problems with uh, thieves or people in general so I don't I did not believe what he told me so I went from Skopje to Struga which is uh, a city in Macedonia and southern Macedonia where you have the Okrit Lake which is between both countries uh, Albania and Macedonia for people who don't know where Albania is it's next to Italy on the Adriatic coast so you can locate it uh, on a uh, European map. It's not a very famous country. Actually, it's very famous for one reason, for the dictatorship. It was like uh, North Korea in Europe uh, for almost 40 years, I think. So it's an interesting country to visit. Whenever, when, whenever people tell me not to go somewhere because it's not so safe in Eastern Europe I always want to go because I think it's it's not so dangerous so I went uh, by um, bus from Struga to uh, Tirana which is the capital city oh I have to say uh, my first impression when I uh, get uh, got off the bus was it it was very hot uh, it was I don't know 36 37 degrees and the first thing uh, that I noticed is what it was, it's a strange thing, but it's like that. Uh, Albanian people in the capital ha have very colorful uh, shoes. They have, uh, the shoelaces are in several colors and uh, actually mm, Albanian people told me that they like to be very fashionable and uh, very coquette and that's, that's true, you see. Um, I think the most um, where I traveled in Albania was uh, it's very special because everything everyone's dressed dresses up uh, like it was like it's a very important event but they are just walking in the street and they dress very well uh, not only women but also men um, I didn't know how physically Albanians are. I think they are a mix of something, but they are more volcanic and uh, a lot of blonde people, although not everyone is blonde. I really like this country for several reasons. Um, first and all, uh, foremost, the friendliness of its inhabitants in Tirana. Everyone that I asked something, uh, helped me out and even um, they brought me to the to the place I was looking for and maybe they they went with me five minutes to show me the way everyone was so friendly 
So, um, unfortunately, be before going to this uh, country, I haven't been able to um, learn some Albanian, even basic Albanian. So I just knew some words that my Albanian friend um, taught me, like Mirdita, uh, Sie, Miropashim, Falimenderit. And um, whenever I would say Falimenderit, with me, which means uh, thank you, they would say skaperse. Uh, and I really liked uh, the people. They are pretty different from Slavic people. Slavic people seem uh, very uh, cold when you don't know them, uh, when you go to Slavic countries like uh, Macedonia, Bulgaria, uh, Serbia, or maybe Bosnia. You have to um speak a while with them and then they will become very friendly it's like that in slavic countries i imagine i think that in russia and ukraine it's almost the same it's not a very direct contact but in albania it's very different why because albanian people are illyrians they are not slavic people and they are they are more like mediterranean people so very friendly, very outgoing, um, uh, very easy to communicate with Albanian people. Always, they are always joking, and it's a very relaxed atmosphere. So, don't uh, hesitate. Just go and see. Albania is very cool. We, I just went to Tirana and Kruje. Kruje is a city about one hour in minivan. Ah, yeah, I forgot to tell you about uh, languages in Albania. If you don't know Albanian, you can still communicate in Italian. But uh, the younger generation does not know any uh, Italian. Uh, people, f mm, they, you have to find someone over 30, uh, 30 or 35 years old. They can speak uh, Italian pretty, pretty well. Uh, of course, you can speak Albanian if you learn it, or English with young people. Uh, almost everyone in Tirana knows English in the younger generation. And uh, Russian with the older people, maybe 60 years old, 60, uh, 65 years old. They speak, some of them speak pretty well. Um, what was it? Some of them speak very well Russian. Another language that I used in uh, Albania that is not Italian, not English and not, uh, what was it again, uh, Russian, was uh, actually, I, we can call it Yugoslavsky, uh, Yugoslavian. I actually, I mixed a little bit Serbian with Bulgarian and I get my point across. Actually, there are a lot of Albanians living uh, outside of Albania in a, a lot of um, Slavic countries, so they know uh, the Serbian, Montenegrin, uh, Bosnian, and they know those languages, and you can communicate. Uh, the southern Slavic bubble, like uh, Bosnian, Serbian, uh, Croatian, Macedonian, Bulgarian, are pretty much um, similar, so um, we can communicate even though we don't speak the same languages. Um, so I spoke in a mix of Serbian and Bulgarian and I could uh, get my point across. But it was because I was in Macedonian and uh, Macedonia before and my it was very hard to uh, switch from um, Macedonian to Italian because I've been speaking Slavic languages for five six days when I was traveling and suddenly speaking in Italian was pretty hard for me even though it's a language that is closely related to um, French which I, I know uh, so uh, to sum everything up Albanian people are very uh, friendly uh, easygoing and uh, helpful people, uh, they, they, if you are interested in their culture, they will always share something with you. And I remember uh, we were in a bookstore 
uh, actually I went there to buy some books to learn some basic Albanian and uh, I had to go to uh, to the bathroom but there were no bathroom in the bookstore so I just asked the staff there she opened the door and uh, showed me an elevator to I don't know a hotel or something apartment and she said second floor and uh, there was a god who was not really willing to let me go out, uh, upstairs so uh, I don't know she said something in Albanian to the guard and he said oh, okay let uh, I'll let him go so pretty flexible country um, mix of cultures ah, yeah, I forget to talk, uh, talk about the local culture um, nightlife in uh, Tirana is very very good everyone um, everyone goes uh, outside and the family spirit is very present in uh, modern day modern day Albanian life you will see a lot of families in restaurants also friends and they're always uh, they are laughing at something they're very uh, easygoing people um, uh, the food is pretty uh, good I would uh, recommend um, Albanian Suflace, uh, which is a kind of a, it's very hard to explain. It's kind of a, a kebab, but made of pork, and uh, also meatballs in uh, in Albania is pretty good. And other special dishes there, but I don't remember the the name. Um, trans transportation in Albania can be pretty tricky you can you have to go by minivan to other places there are no uh, bus stations but I found it pretty um, well organized if you can ask people where to go so it's not a big issue for um, transportation you will always find how where to go and how to go it's just a little bit trickier than in Western Europe where everything is so easy um, and I'd like to sh uh, share with you the book I bought to learn some Albanian actually there are two books uh, this is a basic book in uh, written in French and Albanian but it it also exists in uh, German Russian Italian Spanish and English so if you are in Albania and if you want to learn some Albanian you you can uh, get this book for about eight euros in um, uh, and the Skanderbeg uh, Square, which is the center of um, of Tirana, and the other book is this one. Let's learn Albanian. I think this book is out of print um, online. I don't know if you can get your hands on it if you are not in Albania. I don't think so. But it's um, written by. Uh, academics so it's very well written this book is not very good to start Albanian because uh, in the in the lessons they assume that you already know some Albanian so some words are not explained in the exercises they use words that are not taught in the lesson so I would not recommend to start with this book but this book seems pretty well and uh, there are CDs so you can listen to it. Uh, other than that, I discovered that there is also colloquial Albanian. And maybe there is also teacher self Albanian. I don't think so, but maybe there is also. So we can learn um, some Albanian. And it's a very special language in Europe because it's Indo-European, but it doesn't look like any other European language. It's a little bit like Greek. So why not learn some um, some uh, Albanian? So I think that I, if I learn Albanian, I'll be able to communicate pretty much everywhere in the Balkans except in Slovenia. They have a very special 
way of speaking. They have their own language, actually, even though it was uh, Yugoslavia. But yeah, if you learn just one a language of the Balkans, like Serbian or Croatian, you can travel in all ex-Yugoslavia. And people in Bulgaria will understand you uh, more or less. And it's just Albania that has a very a unique culture so you have to learn it uh, on your own and it's not Slavic so that's why it's interesting for me uh, okay uh, take care and please share your experience in Albania if you have been there I've, been, I've just been there three days so I'm looking for, uh, forward to going again to Albania and this time speaking Albanian um, did I forget to mention something? Yeah, um, I don't know why, but uh, I was really struck uh, because uh, people uh, physically are very beautiful in uh, Albania. Uh, men are handsome, women are um, just gorgeous, and it's pretty, it's volcanic. We, we see it everywhere in Macedonia, Bulgaria, Serbia. Uh, it's something very unique in the Balkans, like um, women are more feminine than in Western Europe. You just uh, realize it, just the way they behave, the way they speak, the way they they dress, it's very, it's very different. Um, and they are very kind, uh, so you can just um, go and have a nice chat with anyone uh, uh, in Tirana, I think people are very open-minded, so just go and discover this wonderful country. I would like to say thank you to all my Albanian friends in Tirana, and uh, I'd like to greet someone who uh, posted a comment a few years ago about, um, he said, he or she said, uh, what about Albania? You always says, uh, you always said that um, Serbia is great, Bulgaria is great, uh, Bosnia is great, but what about Albania? So I went to your country and it was wonderful. Oh, uh, oh I just remember something. There is uh, near the Skanderbeg um, square, central square in Tirana, there is a um, a Japanese monument built by a Japanese artist and it was closed for a long time. I went there, it was 11 p.m. and I just met the guard who was just uh, walking around there. It was like a guard or a policeman, I don't really know. And he saw me and he spoke in Albanian, I don't know any Albanian, he just knew Albanian. So afterwards, uh, he said, oh, I'll just let you in and just take some pictures of it. Uh, it will be great. And he just let me in at 11 p.m. in this Japanese monument. So it was very, uh, it was a great experience to get to know the Albanian kindness towards uh, foreign people. So Albania has a very bad image in other countries but I think if you travel inside Albania you will change your um, your opinion about this country you will find very 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 helpful and friendly people uh,